No, this is a custom crafts by Bruce Layton. We're building that barn dominium. We've still got the camper in here. But it's coming out pretty soon. We got a, a guy coming this week to do the septic. We got all the walls done except that corner right there. That's going to be a walk in the shower. And we turn around. We got all these walls. And you talk about sturdy. This thing ain't be shaking a bit. This is going to be where my front door is. I haven't, I haven't got it made yet. I got a few of the pieces glued together there. And had a bunch of the wire pulled through the hoops. I haven't got any boxes mounted yet. Not many. And we're making a, all these ceiling joists out of 10 footers. And cutting one on each end down to six foot because it's 26 foot long. And look at that point. That, that wall doesn't shake a bit. But this is this is gonna be the master bedroom with a window there and a window there. There's a corner. We gotta frame that corner in. And then this is gonna be the master bath. We got a toilet going there and a bathtub going there. Linen closet, walk in the shower. Uh, 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 we're gonna have a corner sink from this doorway over to that corner and uh, down to that doorway. That's the drain there. This is all gonna be window right here on both sides of the walk-in shower but we're gonna this this right here we're gonna do different we're gonna double that up and run it all the way up to the ceiling and tie it in on the ceiling uh, both of them these are this is way too flimsy uh, i ain't gonna have that this is the walk-in closet and you can see the wires pulled. Outlets. There's the kitchen outlet there. Uh, I'm not sure we're going to put an outlet in the, in the closet. I, I may put one in here. There'll be an outlet here on, uh, on the sink there. And probably one over here. And... We got the kitchen. The range is going to be about right there where the log is. A short cabinet there, and then the cabinets all the way around. The fridge is going right here on this wall. And I got the wires pulled for it, and the outlets. All through the kitchen. And this is going to be the walk-in pantry. I ain't, I ain't got a whole lot of eight butters left. 10, 20, 40, 50 of them left. Uh, I got a whole bunch of 10 butters and a whole bunch of uh, the track left. This is the walk-in pantry. Uh, I think it's like six foot by twelve foot. Let me go over here. You got the laundry room. Wash and dryer's going over in that corner. And then there'll be a counter all the way over to this corner. And then on this wall we're gonna have uh about a 
30 inch cabinet in that corner and one in this corner and then we'll put a bench uh, in between the two cabinets and this is going to be the guest bathroom and that's going to be the same as master bath yeah we did all the headers we tied them in that header that one there the pantry header and this long header going across the kitchen yep. that doorway uh, right here on this side of the door i'm going to build a knee wall four foot high and then uh, the corner uh, uh, two studs going all the way up to a ceiling joist. And, no, that's right, we got one more wall to put in. Right in here for the bedroom. This is the guest bedroom. Right here. Other than that, looks like it's Come along pretty good. We got to make a bunch more of them ceiling joists, but we got lots of ten footers left. Here's my apex pipe. They said it, it, it's been outside for a couple days take the memory out of it so it doesn't coil up but that that blue one just didn't want to lay down right but it doesn't have much of a memory left in it and then after they get the septic in we're going to move this camper out on that side of the building this guy is going to put a septic uh, fitting in and there's an outlet over there uh, for the camper on the outside wall and that, other than that she's almost done except that corner and that one wall in the bedroom you talk about sturdy from about about this wall all, all the way down it doesn't shake a bit and I, I thought it would be a little bit flimsy until we got the sheetrock up but it ain't moving it ain't moving a, a bit without the sheetrock and we've got a couple outlets a wired in one right there one right there, one right there. That uh, when when uh, energy comes off the power pole out outside, the meter box is right out there. When they tie it in, I'll have the three outlets inside here, and we can run all the power tools and whatever we need. Well, it's coming along. Uh, I talked with an electrician, uh, Chris Gold, or, I'm sorry, Steve Golden, and uh, he's a Christian, uh, hard worker. He, he got everything done in less than ten hours. Uh, I, actually, about eight hours. You got everything ready to tie in. And then uh, he said, give him a call whenever I get all the outlet boxes and everything all wired up. And he would terminate everything and make sure it's all, all good to go and safe. Yeah. He was a big help. But these are all the metal studs. You can watch... Uh, Another video I made earlier on how
how I got these. But uh, when I got ready to frame up, uh, eight foot two by four had went from like three dollars and eighty cents all the way up to nine dollars, and I couldn't afford nine dollars a board. And I, 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 I watched that uh, previous video. You'll see how much I paid for all of these studs and those. Uh, but I'm going to close up shop and move my truck out of the way and put my tractor inside here. It's uh, Kubota L3901. That'd been a good little tractor. That's Mama's electric wheelchair. I got to get a new battery for. Her. And that's our camper. 34 foot Flagstaff. This is classic, super light. Uh, we're going to be selling it as soon as we can move into this this house. If anybody might be interested in buying it. I bought it online. It it was up in Utah or Idaho, up there somewhere, and I bought it. I had it shipped down here. It's a 2014, I think. It's an excellent shape, and I I wash the outside and everything when we get ready to sell it. Get it all cleaned up, make it just like new, almost. But that's about it. You cut some crabs for Bruce Layton signing off.